Let's talk about what causes bloodshot eyes. Vitamin B2 deficiency. Now, if you're deficient in vitamin B2, your eyes can become not just bloodshot, itchy, watery, sensitive to light. There are other causes as well. One would be having a blood sugar issue because you're consuming too much sugar and your blood sugar comes up and down. That can create a lot of sensitivity around the eyes, but it can also cause a vitamin B2 deficiency. Other uh, signs that you have a B2 deficiency would be that your, your lips are cracked, chapped, um, as well as cracked corners around your mouth right through here. That's a B2 deficiency. I used to have this, and I had no clue that it was coming from my diet. I just used the, the Carmex on there. And of course, uh, there were certain things in that product that actually pulled oil out, and I always end up with worsening of the chapped lips. Oily nose is a B2 deficiency. So how many kids and teenagers out there have just ex excessively oily skin? A red tongue. I'm not just talking about the normal red, but a very bright red swollen tongue. Uh, migraine headaches can come from a B2 deficiency. But here's the thing that you need to know. A vitamin B2 deficiency doesn't normally occur because you're not consuming enough from your diet. It normally occurs because you either have malabsorption, there's some problem in your gut that it doesn't allow you to absorb it. Let's say you have irritable bowel syndrome or some inflammation in your colon or some type of uh, issue that uh, doesn't allow it to be absorbed. Or you're consuming too many refined flour products as in the bread, pasta, cereal, crackers, biscuits, and waffles. So it's not just about taking a supplement. You have to fix this or this. And I put some links down below so you know how to do either one of these. One last point. If you're taking birth control pills or you're drinking too much alcohol, that can also create a B2 deficiency. Let's discuss the number one vitamin deficiency behind tired eyes. Now, you may automatically think it's your computer screen, which is possibly true, but there's also a vitamin deficiency behind tired eyes. This deficiency can also create strained eyes. It could actually make your eyes sensitive to light. It can cause a burning feeling in your eyes, uh, make your eyes very irritated, feeling like there's little sand particles in the eye when there's not. It can make your eyes water. Now, I had this problem when I was in my late 20s. I wish I would have known what it was because it was driving me crazy. It created a um, dryness in my eye, which then created cracking in my cornea. And I had all sorts of eye problems. But this deficiency can create bloodshot eyes and eventually cataracts. In fact, they treat corneal thinning with this nutrient. But what happens when you're deficient in this nutrient? The cornea, it's kind of like a protective shield on the surface of your eye. Um, starts to become abnormal, specifically the blood vessels in that layer. Well, can you take a guess what this deficiency is? If you guessed vitamin B2, you are correct. If you're deficient in B2, you also may feel like your throat is sore or experience cracking in your lips, especially in the corners and even a red tongue. Now, in past videos, I talked about uh, cracked corners of the mouth being a vitamin B3 deficiency and a B2 deficiency because vitamin B2 actually helps vitamin B3 convert from tryptophan into the active form of B3. So both of these vitamins could be involved. And also vitamin B2 allows for the conversion of vitamin B6 from the inactive form to the active form. So if you know anything about vitamin B6 as well as B3, they're very, very important vitamins and they're dependent on vitamin B2. You can also experience uh, like migraines or, or even headaches behind the eyes if you're deficient in B2. Well, where do you get B2? It's in liver and organ meats. It's in meat, eggs and fish and chicken and milk products like cheese. It's also in green vegetables to a certain degree, but not as much as these products right here. You can also get it in nutritional yeast and even brewer's yeast. 
and some of your microbes actually make it. And the other question is, how do you become deficient? Well, if your microbes make B2 and you take antibiotics, that could be one reason. Another reason is you consume refined grains, which I lived on all the way up until I was probably, you know, mid twenties, especially refined wheat. And this is why in certain countries, they fortify uh, grains or at least refined grains with some of these B vitamins, but of course they're synthetic. Also, if you're doing like um, refined corn products, you know, corn chips, corn tortillas, um, that can create a deficiency of B2, not to mention other vitamins as well. Sometimes you're more deficient in B2 if you're a vegan or if you're a vegetarian athlete because your mitochondria needs B2. And if you're using more energy, you can use up your B2 reserve. And if you don't have enough, you can experience that. Another situation would be hypothyroidism. Okay. And then of course, alcohol, that's a given and uh, high amounts of sugar. So if you're a diabetic, for example, you may be deficient just because there's higher levels of sugar and in the metabolism of sugar, you need B2 as one of the enzymes, as well as B1. Also, if you're under high stress, okay, you can use up more B2. All right, I've just given you the secret of how to fix your tired eyes. And of course, the blue light from the LED, you know, computer screens is a huge factor. Now, the next most appropriate video would be on a topic called uh, EMF, uh, electromagnetic fields. Check it out. I put it right here. So I wanted to touch on the eye and very important vitamins for the eye. And not just vitamins, but a mineral and a phytonutrient. The first thing you need to understand is that um, a lot of these problems with the eye, whether it's uh, macular degeneration or retinopathies or cataracts or glaucoma, um, they usually stem or get triggered from oxidation, high levels of oxidation, uh, usually from too much blood sugar, okay? That's why in diabetics, you see so many problems with the eye or high levels of insulin. Um, other things in the diet can affect the eye, but the big thing is the sugar, okay? So I've done other videos on that. And then the high sugar also will deplete you of certain nutrients as well. But these nutrients I wanna mention act as antioxidants. So if you have enough of these nutrients in your body, it will reduce the complications from diabetes or high sugar or whatever you have. They basically have protective properties, okay? So the most important is vitamin A. Without vitamin A, you're gonna have a lot of eye problems. Vitamin A helps you see in the dark and it can reduce night blindness and prevent it, basically, um, in people that can't see when they're driving at night. Without vitamin A, your tear ducts and your mucous membranes around the eye dry right up, so you get dry eye. Uh, there's so many people like carrying around this little um, solution to help lubricate the eye when they need vitamin A. And also make note that you might need more bile salts if there's a gallbladder problem or a liver problem because you need that to help you absorb vitamin A. Without vitamin A, you tend to get cataracts and macular degeneration. The macula is the back part of the eye. All right, then we get vitamin B1, which gets depleted when you're a diabetic, when you eat high carbohydrate diets, when you eat refined foods, and also if you're taking metformin, by the way, that will deplete B1. Without B1, your risk of getting cataracts go way up, and also your risk for getting uh, retinopathy, problems with the retina, because B1 is involved in keeping the outer coating of your nerves intact, that myelin sheath. So if you have any type of peripheral neuropathy problems because you're a diabetic, you wanna take B1, but you wanna take it in a fat-soluble form, um, as in benfotamine, okay? Benfotamine is also uh, good to penetrate the fat layers of the eye and even the brain. So it's really good for something like this if you catch it in time. All right, B3 is good for glaucoma. And all the B vitamins that I'm gonna talk about, um, you can take nutritional yeast to get your B vitamins. It's a good source. But glaucoma is um, high pressure in the eye. Okay, then we have zinc. Zinc is a very powerful antioxidant. It's a trace mineral. Uh, over 2 billion people on this planet are deficient in zinc. It's a very common deficiency also in, in, uh, in agriculture as well. So it's one of the most common. But zinc allows vitamin A to work. Okay, to do its job. 
without zinc, vitamin A has a hard time creating its functions. All right, another point is that your eye is loaded with zinc, okay, because zinc acts as a cofactor or a helper in all these different enzymes, over a thousand different enzymes uh, dealing with proteins. Without zinc, you get an increased risk of getting a cataract and macular degeneration. Other than that, you're perfectly fine. Okay, then we get carotenoids, which is not a vitamin, it's a phytonutrient. It's an additional thing in plants and other foods that give you health benefits, like lutein, zeanthin. Um, you may have heard about eating tomatoes, for example, it's high in uh, lutein, or kale, or any type of leafy greens, because these carotenoids actually help prevent macular degeneration, and a lot of other things. Okay, vitamin D actually can help reduce the risk for cataracts. It's a fat-soluble vitamin. This is a fat-soluble vitamin. Vitamin E is also involved, but I didn't want to mention that because there's not a tremendous amount of research on the eye with vitamin E. Uh, maybe a little bit here and there, but vitamin E is a very powerful antioxidant. Also, so is vitamin C from food. Um, very important. Um, but again, I didn't want to put that because I didn't find a lot of research on that. All right, vitamin B2 deficiencies can increase your risk of cataracts and macular degeneration as well. And vitamin B2 is a antioxidant for the nervous system too. So uh, I did another video on this related to Parkinson's. Very interesting. All right, guys, there's a summary. Make sure you're getting these nutrients from the food that you're eating. Hey guys, real quick, I have a... So if you're enjoying this content, go ahead and share it with someone that could really benefit from it.